In the first ten years of your marriage you will produce three children to whom you will give very old names. You will name a girl Gilgamesh and two lads Atlantis, Socrates and Methuselah. No more children will originate from your marriage as three offspring per marriage is the number of the terrestrial norm. Also the birth of your children will bring you no peace and so the path of your learning will not have ended. Only in the year 1995 will your paths first begin to free themselves extremely slowly from the thorns. But until then, you will be completely left to your own resources during all the years and, during this time, also receive some further instructions, or portions of teachings, from us or from other intelligences. This is then the last and most burdensome course of learning which you alone must finish. You must, under all circumstances, withstand all these very difficult times, even if you will often not feel like it. In the year 1975, if the great danger of a universal catastrophe is averted, at the start of the year, as I already explained to you, another extraterrestrial life form, which says it is from the Pleiades, will make contact with you after which you are then to begin to fulfill your mission. Work then, however, with all possible means of truth and righteousness available to you in order to fulfill your mission and to do it to justice. In this time you will also come into contact once again with the biggest European UFO study community, which should make an effort to spread information about our doings. From that point, you will be invited to a congress but this will be a very great knockout for you. The organizers will not want to come to terms with the truth, because they are very strongly biased to religious sectarianism. They do not want you to spree the actual truth so they will suddenly obstruct your path so you cannot appear at the Congress. It will be such that they do not want to acknowledge you as a new prophet because, in their aberration through religion, they are not able to recognize the truth. Despite this, however, you will go your way, and even before this point in time, shortly before you will bring your own publication to life in order to spread the truth. Thereby, due to the loving help of your best friend, you will be independent, just as your community, which you will call to life in the year 1975, will also be but the fight for the truth will be very hard because you will have to fight against the lack of understanding and lack of reason of sectarian ophological groups, and so forth, who are strongly anchored in the religious and in pseudosciences. In regard to that, take note especially of the coming worldwide organization for ophological work, move on, because along with various pathological know-it-alls and slanderers of truth, it will be your greatest adversary. You will become loved and hated worldwide and also your life will no longer be secure. But you will not worry about that, because by then you will have learned to only amuse yourself about those kinds of threats and even about assassination attempts. Yet in spite of this, Work quickly and precisely in order to fulfill your mission, because the time passes very quickly, and the laying aside of your body on. The date of my death is named here in the precise time of my death, which, however, for certain reasons I am not permitted to name, does not allow you to put it off. At the beginning of the second half of the year 1975 the German Ophological Study Community Deuced, will lead the first strike against you. That is to be foreseen, and so you will take up contact with this place early. You will do this under the name, Billy, which will be given to you in the year 1965 in Tehran, Persia. This is also the time in which the great change in your life will come about. But protect yourself then from the intrigues directed against you which will be shot at you like poison arrows. Be also very careful then that you again eradicate the second name, Phantom, given to you in Persia, because, by then, 
it will have served its purpose. Allow yourself, along with the name, Billy, to again be called by your real name, Edward which you are already, significantly, given at your birth. This name contains the meaning, guardian of the treasure, and in the truest sense of the word, by the year 1975, you will have become the guardian of an enormous, and for the humans, very important, treasure, namely the guardian of the treasures of truth, knowledge, wisdom, love and peace, the guardian of the true teachings of the spirit, because it represents the greatest of the earth humans' treasures. Thus make an effort, towards the end of the year 1975, to eradicate the name, Phantom, which was valid until then, and allow yourself to be called only your name given at birth, Edward, or, Billy. Various things will also develop in the world itself at that time which will be of very great significance. An American man of peace named Kissinger will do big things in the times to come, yet peace will not favor him. Then, soon after that, a serious misfortune will befall him. He will be named, Angel of Peace. Yet he will not be able to prevent a violent war breaking out between Israel and the Arabian countries towards the end of the year 1976. All this must happen because, after the averting of the great catastrophe, new paths will already be trod on again to place terrestrial peace in question. Thereby, Israel plays a very important role because this country will be insulted by being called the least competent by all the control demanding Arabian rulers. That is why the Israelis will still be, for a very long time, the basis for dispute and strife, for discord, war and bloodletting, just as they always, for millennia, were often the basis for that, for which they often bore the blame themselves. Something important is still to be explained to you, namely, that the most varied swindlers in UFO matters will spread worldwide and that you should never, of your own initiative, accuse them of fraud. Always refer to us in regard to the naming of the swindlers because these statements stem from us and not from you. In spite of that it will, however, be that you will be made responsible for the naming of the swindlers and it will be said of you that you would accuse all contactees, and so forth, of lying. Even though that which will be asserted about you in the future will really not be true, you should not disturb yourself about it. Sooner or later the truth will break through and the mourners will be those who have appraised you as having engaged in something dishonest. If I and others speak of swindlers then we therefore do this in a responsible way because we know the truth and many events of the future and thus also have recognized, and invariably will recognize, the swindlers. And there will, unfortunately, be many of them, conscious as well as unconscious. But it is devious and false if, later, from the year 1975, it is asserted that you or we would insult ALL contactees, and so forth, by calling them swindlers.